Hello, and thanks for tuning into the channel. Right, okay, on this one, I've come to a job where their CCTV system has stopped working. Um, it's just beeping at them. And I, after looking into it, it looks like the actual hard drive uh, stopped working. Um, so it's not recording, it's not doing anything. The cameras are powered up, they've got a live feed, but nothing's recording, which renders it pretty much pretty useless. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how I'll uh, replace uh, a hard drive on a Hikvision NVR recorder um, they're pretty much much of a muchness really um, the hard hard drive so I'm going to show you how to take it apart how to replace it and it should all be working okay let's get into it okay so right here we've got the actual CCTV recorder um, it's by Hikvision um, it's a high look version, um, but yeah, so inside this is the actual hard drive um, that records all of the, you know, all of the videos and everything. So what I need to do, so down the back here, so you've got the recorder, you've got the four camera cables going in, you've got the cable that connects to the router, um, the cable that connect the VGA cable that connects to the monitor, the power cable, and underneath there is just the the mouse, which is on a USB. All of these have got to be disconnected. Um, but what I do is label each of these cables one, two, three, and four, so that, so that when I disconnect them, um, I put them back in the same slots because on the actual imagery on the monitor they'll all be labelled, so this camera could be front, that one could be back or whatever and if you put them in the one way around it won't correspond. Yes you could change them after but that just takes time so it's just a lot simpler to just to label one, two, three, four so you put them back in the same, in the same slots. Okay so I'm going to get that all disconnected and take it apart and uh, show you what's inside. Okay so got the recorder, all the cables disconnected so now you want to there's screw there, one, two, uh, three, and the same on the other side, four. So those four screws need to be unscrewed and then we can take the shell off, okay? So I'll do that now. Okay, so now the outer shell is off. We need to disconnect this cable this cable from the hard drive and then unscrew the hard drive at the bottom of these four screws. Okay, so now replace the new hard drive in exactly the same manner. Okay, so now you've got the, the new hard drive put in. Um, it's all attached at the, at the bottom and the two cables here reattached just in the same way that we took the old one out. Last thing to do is put the, the outer shell back on. Uh, no you need to be careful to get this in correctly. Yeah, that's all fine. So just attach the four screws you uh, took out. And that's it. So all this, all that's left to do now is reconnect all the cables at the back, like I showed you at the start. Okay. And that's it. Um, everything put back together. All the cables back into the machine, as you can see, as they were before. And you should have two lights on the front. Um, well, that light is because it's connected to the internet. 
um, but this is the light that's flashing saying that it's recording and that's your power light if there's that that wasn't worth flashing before because it wasn't recording and now it is so that's it that's how to uh, replace a hard drive on uh, an MV, MVR recorder um, okay that's it thanks for watching I uh, hope it helps any of you out there um, just one thing to say if you did like what you watched today uh, please subscribe to the channel I know you hear it all the time but please subscribe to the channel and uh, share it and like it and hit the bell icon the, the bell icon and then you'll be notified of all my other videos that are coming out I've got a fair few I've done already um, but yeah there'll be plenty more content coming out in the in the future so yeah like and subscribe and share away thanks guys